wants to meet me. Yeah, and he wants to meet me. What'll I wear? How about clothing? What should I do with my hair? Bring it along. And what about my fingernails? Bring them too. Oh, well, what am I gonna say to him? How about uh, how do you like my hair and my fingernails? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Huh? oh, but but do you think Ma'll mind? Why should Ma mind? Well, because she's making that big dinner for us tonight. Oh, gee, I forgot all about that. Honey, this is it's very important that I meet this guy. Yeah, and at the Plaza Hotel. Yeah. Oh, honey, she'll understand Yeah, she's got to understand this, right? Yeah, why don't you go on in and tell her? Yeah, I'll because go and tell her. i got to phone Trudy and see if I can borrow her fur chubby. Yeah. She'll understand, right, honey? Yes. Yeah, there's no problem, right? No. No, there's no problem. No. There's no problem, right? Right. <sighs> there's a problem. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Wow. Wow, look at all this food that you're preparing just for us tonight. Yeah. It looks good. I bet you went to a lot of trouble, huh? Oh, no, it ain't no trouble, Mike. I'm glad I got something to do. It takes my mind off of your going away. Oh, my. <laughs> huh. I better go talk to Gloria. Well, I got the coat. It's all right. I deserved it. Oh, uh, well, I just came in here to say I have figured out what to wear tonight. Oh, why? I'm going to wear my beautiful blue cocktail dress with your pearls. No, uh, honey, we better talk. Gloria, you don't have to dress up to me. Uh, honey, we better talk. Yes, I do. Honey, I think we better talk. Well, aren't you going to dress up, honey? No, he don't have to dress up. I ain't going to dress up. And I know Archie ain't. <laughs> Well, Mom, you and Daddy don't have to dress up because you're not going to dinner. Mm, that's right. We ain't got no place to go because we're here. <laughs> Michael, didn't you tell Ma that you and I are having dinner tonight at the Plaza Hotel? No, honey. I, I think you just did. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'm just uh, too uncomfortable to stay in the room anymore. Gee, Ma, sorry about the mix-up. I thought Michael already told you. That phone call was from his new boss, and he's in town, and he wants to take us out to dinner tonight. Oh. To the Plaza Hotel, Ma. Isn't that great? Whoa. You've been going out so much. All week to your goodbye parties. I thought we was going to have our own goodbye party. Yeah, but I think having this meeting with the professor is pretty important. I know what we can do. We can invite the professor here. We got plenty of food. That way we can kill two birds with one turkey. <laughs> I don't think Daddy and the Professor should meet. <laughs> Gloria, your father ain't stupid no matter what people say. <laughs> Ma, can you imagine this Professor King trading viewpoints with Archie Bunker? I don't think it would be bad. Ma, it would be like Eric Severi trying to talk to Fred Flintstone. <laughs> It would be a disaster. I'm sorry, Ma, but I think we better go out. You don't really mind, do you? Oh, no, no. You go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You and Mike go out. Yeah. Archie and me will stay here and have turkey. <laughs> and uh, string bees and, and the cranberries. A homemade, not in a can. And, and the broccoli with the hollandaise sauce I made myself. And the apple pie homemade with sharp cheese on it. And, and two kinds of mashed potatoes and chestnut stuff. And, oh, and, and if there's anything left over, I'll take it to the Sunshine Home where they'll appreciate it. I guess if you're ashamed of your father, you must be ashamed of me, too. <laughs> <laughs>